I am Grant. I am Scott from Frightened Rabbit. We are at the Brooklyn Art Library, home of the Sketchbook Project. You know, there are there are a few cities that feel a lot like home when we come here and play. Um, I think particularly the East Coast. You know, I always feel this was the first sort of area of the country we ever toured and encountered. Um, and, and it definitely there's there's something about the people and the attitudes here that does align. But I grew up I grew up listening to American music. You know, I was heavily influenced by that. You know, uh, the, the, the the whole start of my songwriting, I guess, just the start of my songwriting career and path was 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 when I was listening to artists like Ryan Adams and Wilco and Laura Cantrell and a, and a lot of that kind of what you would term all country. You know, when it, when it's when I started truly writing songs in earnest, it was it was a lot of American music that influenced that. And they're they're you know they're, they're quite it's quite easy to see the connection between American, essentially folk music and Scottish folk music. You know, the roots of both are, are quite you know heavily tied to the land and you know working and whatever else. So there's, there's a definite strong connection between the two. Are you writing on holy evening? Well, me, I'm just full of holes. Full of holes. I think <laughs> that pedestrian verse has, you know, has become at this point in time, uh, I, I, I hope, on a par. However, I would say that there's a large section of our audience that arrived to the band via our second record, Midnight Organ Fight. And I have a theory that any band you get into, it's that first record that gets, that the first record you come to almost cannot be usurped. But, but yeah. I think even, you know, with that, with what Scott's saying in mind, this album has reached a, a whole new audience who I think for them in the future, Pedestrian Earth, you know, will, will hopefully be that record, that, the one that, that they find the band uh, at that stage. The yeah, the public nature of the outlet has caused problems. I guess it's it's, it's an unnatural way to um, to air grievances and uh, to and a lot of times, you know, even Grant, my brother, and people I've been in relationships with. The first they've heard of these instances were were within songs, and that's odd. It can be come across as a very selfish way to work, but I think a, a lot of art is, I guess. You know, it's it's a selfish pursuit. Scott first started writing songs as well. There wasn't an audience there, you know, to make it a conscious decision to to use it for that purpose. You know, it, it, um, the the. On the, that came on the t sort of record two or three, you know, and that I guess was maybe when it became, you know, the public outlet that it is. Mm. Um, but then by that point, you can't really change it. You know, you can't take it back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, with with the, the writing process on pedestrian verse being more collaborative when it came to us learning the songs and playing these songs live having the involvement from the very beginning you know it definitely feels better to to release those songs to the public and play them you know uh, you can't really fake that kind of commitment to a song um, I guess you just have to look at any number of artists who use session musicians who actually do try to fake investment in a song, but that just leads to <laughs> leads to leads to leads to just like terrible faces being pulled and stuff, just pretending you're into it. And I think now that it's uh, certainly less about m myself, uh, n you know, in, in a narrative sense as well. I think there's definitely a, a greater sense of togetherness and achievement as a, a t achievement together. From the backyard. Yeah, I mean, the reason, one of the reasons why there are still a, a set of personal songs on this record is, is I can't, I kind of can't help it. So I started off with this idea in mind, 
I was not going to write about myself. There was no reason to. There wasn't much going on aside from being in a band. And there's nothing more boring than listening to a guy talk about being in a band. Well, sing, <laughs> sing about being in a band. Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean that in the, in, in the sense of a song. It doesn't make for great material. And um, But then, so I started writing about other people's lives and trying to widen the widen the lens a little bit but then you know things happen and uh, and it is definitely my way of making sense of these things that happen hi i'm grant from Flint rabbit and i am scott from the same band uh you're watching babel music Not deep enough to